Hello and welcome to the breakdown video of the Meta Villa. My name is Anastasia, I'm the creator of the project and I'm glad that you joined me today. This project goes all the way back to 2021. So in celebration of its one year anniversary and its official release, I wanted to share with you the experience I had working on it including all the challenges we have to overcome, as well as the nitty-gritty details that you all like to hear. The Meta Villa was meant to be streamed onto Web2 and Web3 platforms via Pixel Streaming Service, so the first step was to optimize the geometry. Coming from an architectural background, I had the perfect tool in mind, Rhinosaurus 3D. It's an amazing tool and it helped me reduce all the meshes and the vertices of all the complex and beautiful works of art made by Paul Melinsky. After overcoming this first major barrier, the second step was optimizing materials and textures so that everything will run smoothly and neatly. In my opinion, there is nothing worse than a beautiful virtual experience that is lagging. It is important to note that the project was created during the time when Epic was releasing new versions of Unreal every other month. Don't get me wrong, those updates were crucial and great. However, they also bought with themselves a bag of bugs and other system malfunctions. But hey, what doesn't kill you make you better at troubleshooting, am I right? The third step was to implement the blueprints of the actor, the camera, and the overall game mechanics of the Meta Villa. You probably noticed throughout the video that it is based on a first-person shooter. You can even see the hand holding the invisible gun and I think this is so odd. Can you imagine having a shooter game in an art gallery? This is so James Bond. The fourth step was creating a foliage system. The lighter, the better. Since the villa was already filled with complex works of art and many various details, creating a procedural light foliage system was a great challenge. Not only does it have to be lightweight, but it also has to look good. This was probably one of the greatest barriers I had to overcome with the newly released versions of Unreal Engine. Back then, I was working on a preview version of Unreal Engine 5, and sadly the foliage was not compatible with Nanite, which made it extremely complicated to work with. My solution to the issue was taking each of the foliage elements, one by one, and changing manually their LODs, their texture resolutions, as well as reducing the view of distance to the bare minimum. Unfortunately, it is very visible on the trees since the branches are kind of wonky, but I would like to say that it was a design choice. However, after applying the procedural foliage system, my performance decreased drastically and so I installed the plugin that would eventually save it all. NVIDIA DLSS. There was even a moment in which the translucent and the transparent materials were working correctly in the beta version of Unreal 5, and that was a very exciting moment for all of us. Once we've got the overall design, the optimization, and the art directing done, it was time to test out some new versions of the Meta Villa. I've decided to give it a go and create a night view sketch in hopes that this will be a day and night mode kind of experience. I think this mode is so magical and mysterious that I've even decided to finish the night render after the project was complete. It adds an aesthetic value to the villa, almost as if you're walking in a museum at night after everyone has already left. 
The next and final step was implementing and figuring out the UX and the UI designs of the experience. With the help of Disrupt Design Team, we came up with a clean and sophisticated design that will make the experience both immersive and easy to navigate. After that, all that was left was to refine the small details and make sure that everything runs smoothly on all platforms. And here is the final result. If you want to see more of the Meta Villa and other projects, please check out my website at anastasiatamir.artstation.com or Instagram at Anastasia underscore Tamir. Thank you so much for sharing this journey with me and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye!